in the last two decades that I've been learning about nutrition, very rarely has something as powerful and controversial as intermittent fasting come around. So that's why in this video, I'm going to tell you guys all about my experience with intermittent fasting, the science behind it, and whether or not I recommend it for your goals. So the candle back there is hissing and crackling a little bit, so my apologies if you can hear that. And how's it going everybody? It's me, Ryan, and this is Minus the Gym. If you guys are new to my channel, it's all about how to keep fit and healthy at home with body weight fitness. So if that sounds up your alley, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and tap the bell so you don't miss a single video. All right guys, the type of intermittent fasting that I'm talking about in this video specifically is 16-8 intermittent fasting which means that there's 16 hours out of each day where you don't eat, you're fasting, and then eight hours that you are eating. Now, everybody knows that when it comes to losing weight or gaining weight, it all comes down to caloric deficit or caloric surplus, right? That's just how it is. If you wanna lose weight, you need to eat in a caloric deficit, meaning consume less calories than you burn each day. And if you wanna gain weight, whether it be fat or muscle mass, preferably muscle mass, you want to eat in a caloric surplus, meaning you want to consume more calories than you burn throughout the day. So for that reason, a lot of people have argued that intermittent fasting isn't effective, that it all comes down to calories in versus calories out. And while that's true, there are other benefits to intermittent fasting besides that that I want to talk about in this video. And overall, guys, my experience with intermittent fasting, what my research has taught me, is that it's really great. There's not a lot of downsides to it, and it's something that I highly recommend people work with as a tool, or right? it's, it's one of the few tools you can use in dieting that is actually really effective and good for you. There's really three main benefits to intermittent fasting that I wanna talk about in this video. The first is the ease of getting into a caloric deficit. Okay, fasting just makes it easier to eat in a caloric deficit so that you can lose weight. The second thing is improved health markers, all right? There's science showing, there's research and studies showing that intermittent fasting really is better for you and your general health. And the third thing that I like is that it's easier to gain muscle mass and maintain muscle mass even when you're losing weight. And there's science backing all this up and my experience taught me that as well. All right, first let's talk about eating in a caloric deficit. If you've tried any kind of diet with calorie restriction, then you know how hard it is to consistently eat in a deficit. And one of the beautiful things of intermittent fasting is that when you don't eat for 16 hours and you're just allowing yourself that eight hour feeding window later in the day, it's much easier to eat in a deficit because you just have a limited amount of time. And the way I do it is I skip breakfast. So I, I just get up, I start my day, I get stuff done and I'm productive in the morning. And then finally I eat lunch midday. And when I eat lunch, you know, I eat a good size lunch, probably around a thousand calories or so but then I'm good, I'm full. And you know, sometimes I might want a small snack in the afternoon, but I'm often good all the way until dinner where I have another large meal, okay? Maybe 1,000, 1,200 calories. But typically that's going to amount to less than what you consume if you ate three meals throughout the day. And often, if you do it right, you're in a caloric deficit. One of the other things that's really great about intermittent fasting is what it does to your insulin levels, okay? And, and just bear with me here while I try to explain this. Every time you eat a meal, you convert carbohydrate to glucose, which is blood sugar. Right? This, this is sugar literally traveling in your bloodstream. And when you eat, your pancreas produces insulin. It's a hormone that travels through your blood and it's going to grab onto that glucose and it's actually going to take those monosaccharides and pair them up and, and make them polysaccharides called glycogen. And it presses, it pushes the glycogen into your cells of your muscle and your liver. Okay, so you, you store muscle glycogen and liver glycogen to be used as energy, ATP, adenosine triphosphate, whenever you move. A lot of us, when we eat three times, four times, five times a day, we are basically just running off of glycogen all the time. We're not letting our glycogen deplete so that our body can use stored fat as energy. And what they found is with intermittent fasting, because you're going for an extended time without food, you know, upwards of 16 hours or, or more, depending on what type of intermittent fasting you do, during that time that you're fasting, your insulin levels will level out, 
and therefore your glycogen will eventually get depleted, typically around 12 hours after you've last eaten, depending on how much you ate. And when your glycogen is depleted, your body will resort to body fat, those fat cells, for energy. So the beauty of intermittent fasting in terms of caloric deficit and burning body fat is that in multiple ways, it optimizes your body for using fat as fuel. And the second big reason why I recommend intermittent fasting to reach your health and fitness goals is improved health markers. And this is a big one, actually. Uh, research has found that this is you know, high level, that longevity in general, like your lifespan, is increased with calorie restriction. And this has been shown in many different studies. In fact, I have a book, I think it's down here. Let me check. Yeah, here we go. Fasting and Eating for Health by Dr. Joel Furman, MD. This is one of the books I've read on fasting. Now this book's about long-term fasting, actually. Uh, the people in this book that he fasted under medical supervision, they didn't eat for days, even weeks on end. But the same benefits have been found for intermittent fasting as well. Basically, when you do a long-term fast like that book describes, you're getting all those benefits, boom, at once and just one long thing. But if you do intermittent fasting, you're doing a series of small fasts each day for an extended period of time. So it takes longer, but you get all the same benefits of a long-term fast. And what they found is that longevity increases and your lifespan is longer when you do regular fasting. Another thing that research has found is that with intermittent fasting on a regular basis, other health markers improve in your blood work, meaning everything from cholesterol levels, triglycerides, even your insulin sensitivity, like your uptake of glucose into your cells. So people who are experiencing hyperglycemia or you know borderline type 2 diabetes, even legit type 2 diabetes can see benefits from this type of uh, intermittent fasting because when you go when you fast for an extended period of time your body's sort of cleaning house it's not digesting anything so it has this opportunity to start taking care of business and taking care of the things that have needed to be done and start its natural healing process they've also seen reductions in blood pressure okay and what i have learned about blood pressure in my own experience is that when we eat a high fat diet, we're just constantly consuming food and usually that food's high in fat, the innermost lining of your artery called the endothelium tends to get coated in fat and then it's not producing enough nitric oxide to help the blood travel through the arteries. So when you fast on a regular basis and you're giving your arteries a break, basically, like I said, the, the body has this natural ability to heal itself and it, each day during that fast, it gets an opportunity to clean house a little bit. So over time, your arteries heal, and that's why they've seen improvements in everything from blood pressure to insulin sensitivity and, and other things. So from a health perspective, purely speaking of health and not talking about losing weight or gaining muscle, it's a, there's a lot of evidence. I'll put links down below, guys, if you want to read some of the studies. There's plenty of evidence out there and books written on the subject that fasting is really good for your long-term health. And the third reason why I recommend intermittent fasting and why it's good for you and it's awesome for your goals, your health and fitness goals, is that it helps you maintain and even build muscle mass. And there are now studies showing this, actually proving that human growth hormone, all right, so anabolic hormones in the body are naturally increased after a fast. So what happens is you, you fast for an extended period of time, whether it be 12, 16 hours, or even days, and then you're in a catabolic state. Catabolic means that your body is sacrificing its own tissues for energy. And, you know, most likely most of that sacrifice is going to be fat cells, which is what we want, right? We, we want to burn fat, we want to use fat for energy. If you fast for a long time though, like I think it's once you get into day two, then you start sacrificing muscle tissue. But the body knows that it's been in this catabolic state. So when you finally eat again, when you finally get food into your body, your, your body's very intelligent and it says, oh man, I finally have some, some protein, some amino acids. So let me use those the best I can and start rebuilding what I've lost in my catabolic state. So naturally the body ups its human growth hormone and other anabolic hormones, which will help you maintain muscle mass, okay, when you're dropping weight, 
and it makes gaining muscle easier. So you can actually eat in a caloric surplus when doing intermittent fasting, and you will benefit from that, that extra anabolic hormone, the natural production, you'll benefit from that and notice it's a little easier to build muscle mass when you're doing intermittent fasting. So those are the three big reasons why I recommend it. I started in 2017 just sort of dabbling with intermittent fasting and I found it kind of difficult at first, but I kept at it, kept practicing and, and going back to it. And then finally in 2018, I took it seriously and for most of the year, I did the 16-8 intermittent fasting on a regular basis every day of the week. And the only times I broke it really was when we had some kind of special breakfast plans, like um, if it was a holiday and we had like a brunch or something, or if the family was going out for brunch, then I would, I would not do fasting, I'd enjoy the breakfast. But other than that, I would just delay my smoothie and, and my whatever I was gonna have for breakfast, and I would just have two or three meals, like, a, like two big meals and a snack pretty much, from noon till 8 p.m., and that was my feeding window. And I really liked it. It was a great experience. Um, I got leaner. I found it easier to gain strength and muscle mass. And I just, I felt all around better. I really do think that the science is legit and this is good for our health. Now the downsides to intermittent fasting. I think it's pretty obvious actually. Uh, when you don't eat for 16 hours, it can kind of suck. I mean, we like to eat. I love to eat personally. I'm. Uh, I know people don't like talking about somatotypes, but I am a legit, like, textbook endomorph. If you guys subscribe to, I, I still subscribe to somatotypes, and I'm an endomorph by far. I love to eat, I've always been overweight most of my life, so it, it was really difficult for me to skip breakfast and to get used to that. But once you finally get over that, and if you don't have a lot of breakfast plans, then you really reap the benefits and you see it's worth it. And if you guys are wondering, like, well, I want to try this, but how do you ease into it? How do you start doing intermittent fasting? Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to my channel, okay, buttons down below, because I'm gonna make more intermittent fasting videos. And the next one is gonna be a how-to guide, a complete step-by-step how-to ease into 16-8 intermittent fasting so you can start giving it a shot and feeling the benefits yourself. So I know this was a different kind of nutritional video. It's not like I'm standing in the kitchen you know, making recipes and showing you guys what I eat in a day. And I do want to make more videos like that in the future. But for now, intermittent fasting, it's something that I use. I like it. I highly recommend it. And it's a useful tool that anybody can use. Whether you guys eat plant predominant like I do, or completely plant-based, or maybe if you eat, I don't know, keto or the carnivore diet or whatever you want to eat, intermittent fasting can help everybody. So that's why I'm going to make more videos about this. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.